guys, it's Caitlin. In today's video is a first impressions video. I have not done a first impressions in so long. These did be my favorite videos to film, and so I wanted to do one for you guys. I went to Ulta and I picked up the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I was a little irritated. I thought, it's like a side note story. I was a little irritated because I went in just to look at this foundation, and the lady was like, oh, let's match you. And so she wound up like doing my whole face and like putting blush on and everything. And she's like, oh, you like this one, right? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, okay, let's go ring it up. And then like, she just walks over to the counter. I'm like, okay. She didn't even ask if I wanted to buy it. So I was like, guess I'm buying it. Like, I should have stuck up for myself, but I was kind of like, I don't know. I like I don't know. I kind of like froze and was like, okay, I guess I'm buying it. I was like gonna wait a while to like see if I liked it. So although I did have, she did apply this to my face. I did not see the consistency. She just kind of applied it. I mean, she was really nice. Don't get me wrong. Um, but she just applied it and she put like a really thin layer over my face, so I didn't get to like play with like the coverage or anything like that. So call that cheating or whatever you want. I still con consider it first impressions because I just opened it and everything. The reason why I wanted this is because I work outside and I get really gross, really sweaty. Even though I am dry skin, I get really gross, really sweaty. Um, and my foundation looks like crap at the end of the day. So uh, yeah, that's why I wanted I wanted something that would stick to my face and I've heard good things about this foundation. I don't know, I'm gonna see how it goes, but let's just get into the demo. Okay, so let's get into the foundation. Um, the packaging is pretty standard it's just the box packaging and then I really like the way the packaging looks here and I think you get yeah 1.7 fluid ounces so that's a little bit more than what you normally would get which is a good thing um, but yeah I like the little wood handle so this is what the texture looks like it's very moussey it's not running at all it's just it's staying there so I guess that's a good thing because I do want to wear this outside. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you can see. This is what my skin looks like. i got a lot of redness going on. I do have some scarring. It's faded a lot, but um, that's basically what's going on. I'm going to put a thin layer all over my face and then build up the coverage where I need it. And I'm using the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to do this. So very very thin layer obviously it didn't do much but it did already start covering the redness if you can tell so this is one layer just one layer I'm already extremely impressed because I do have dry skin I don't know if I've said that already in my skin in winter is like really bad but like you know it's still dry even in the summertime it's still dry and it's clinging to absolutely zero of my dry patches. I have really bad dry patches right here on my eyes right now and I put some on my eyes and I don't see any, it's not picking up anything. I mean obviously it's not full coverage right now but it cancelled out so much redness already that I'm pretty impressed. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a second layer, a very thin second layer all over my skin and then I, um, that I will come back to you. Oh, nice. Feels like butter is on my skin. Like, just look how seamlessly it's blending. Okay, so this is another layer. It covered even more. In a few sparse areas, it might look a little cakey. From far away, it doesn't look cakey, but if I, like, really analyze... It, it looks a little cakey. Um, I'm just going to put a very, very small layer right, he like right here on my cheeks, just because I do have scarring that's not covered. I feel like you could definitely build this up. I still do see a few like red spots and dark circles showing through, just like the really bad ones that are showing through. And there's like a little bit of redness on my forehead, but. So it's not like a total full coverage right now. I feel like you could get there if you kept like putting layers on, but I'm good. I don't want to put all that makeup on, but. So I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. But so far I'm loving it. It feels like butter on the skin. It feels really, really nice. So I will be right back. Okay, so this is my makeup on. I want to let you guys know I do have blush and bronzer on both sides of my cheeks. And I have, I powdered this side on my face and I didn't powder this side. I feel like powdering it kind of helped 
the bronzer and blush blend a little bit more this side I feel like looks a little blotchy but maybe that's just the camera doing that I'm not really sure because like in person it looks fine and I have hair on my nose <sighs> feels really good I mean I did have a little bit of a shine to it which is why I wanted to powder one side of my face I don't know if you can tell the difference I can tell the difference um but I think I'm going oh, I'm gonna zoom you guys out I'm like too close to the camera but yeah, I will check back with you guys in a couple of hours and then at the end of the day. So I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, you guys, this is really hard to hold there. Okay, I just went outside for, it's been about an hour. I want to show you how much sweat I have on my face. This is so gross. Do you see, like, how much sweat? So I'm just going to dab this off and see what happens. No makeup came up. You see that? That was the grossest thing ever. Like, I had, like, pools of sweat. Being careful with it, but no makeup is coming up. And I was wearing sunglasses, and I don't really see any marks. That's, like, one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, when I'm wearing sunglasses and foundations, like, totally just wear away. Like, it's a little bit, but I'm pretty impressed. So I'll, I'll update you guys as the day goes. It is about 5 o'clock right now. I have been outside. I've been inside. I've been hanging out with my friend Becky. And we were laughing and uh, hysterically. So I've been basically putting this foundation through a lot. Um, it's holding up pretty freaking well. In total, I was probably outside in the really hot sun for like two and a half hours, I would say. So I'm normally out in the sun for like five hours. But it's holding up pretty well. My blush and bronzer are pretty much still there. So I just wanted to show you what my skin was looking like. And I'll do a final update tonight. Okay, you guys. It is 7.30. You probably can't even see it. 7.30. You literally cannot see that. Whatever. Um, I am so tired right now. I just, like, look how shiny I am. I just got up from, uh, like, a two-hour nap because I passed out bro <laughs> like I passed out the lighting kind of sucks because it's it's not dark it's just like this is really really harsh lighting like <laughs> so I'm gonna do it over here um I'm gonna take my makeup off pretty soon the foundation's still pretty good like I haven't added powder and I am pretty shiny I did notice um later in the day that I was actually kind of sinking into my fine lines like right here and it made me look kind of old um, but other than that, I did a really nice job. Tomorrow I do work, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear it tomorrow, like, when I work, like, because I work outside, so, um, I'm gonna see how it acts, like, when I'm outside for a really long time. I'm sorry, I'm so out of it right now, I'm so tired. And I will let you know, but I mean, I think it looks still pretty good, like, I think my skin looks really healthy, the blush and bronzer has still stayed on, so this video is probably really long, but... <laughs> girl I'm tired okay yeah okay I'm just repeating myself so I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll see you guys tomorrow night the lighting is literally horrific right now but it is the night the next night I just got back from work I have had this foundation on for about probably eight hours and um it doesn't look, doesn't look that good um I worked outside and it wasn't even that hot out like there was a few periods that was hot i will say it la my foundation lasted longer than it usually does i wish it was a little bit better just because this foundation is expensive i wish it would lasted longer because you can still see some of my blush and bronzer so i kept some of it on there um i'm overall pretty pleased with it i love the way it feels like it's like even when I'm sweating, I feel like there's nothing on my face. I don't feel gross. Like I normally feel really disgusting whenever I have like makeup on and it's really hot out. Um, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. I do wish the lasting power was a little bit better. I don't know if this could hold up for 12 hours though. That's a long time and I don't think it looks that great right now. I'm overall happy with it. I'm going to use it a few more times and then I'll kind of decide if I want to keep it. But overall pretty happy with it. Held up well, feels amazing on the skin. If you guys have any questions about it, leave them in the comment section below. Remember that beauty isn't everything, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.